are empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting Hey everyone, it's me, Hammy Hamster 21 here. So today's video is going to be a really good care video. And it's going to be all about what kind of hamsters can live alone and what hamsters can live together. So this has been a really requested video and lots of people have been asking on my channel here all about which hamsters can live by themselves and all about like housing hamsters together. So that's what we're going to be covering this video and I really hope that you guys will enjoy it. Okay guys, so I get asked a ton about whether dwarf hamsters can or cannot live together. So, I know a lot of you guys may know this, but some of you guys may not. Dwarf hamsters can't actually live together in pairs. So that's what I'm talking about right here. So winter white dwarf hamsters like Stripe right here, and also Campos dwarf hamsters um, and Roborowski dwarf hamsters can definitely live together. So they are unlike the Syrian or Chinese dwarf Chinese hamster because they can live together in pairs. So those can all live in pairs, the ones I just named. Um, but one thing you definitely have to remember is that you cannot mix different uh, species of robo together. So like a Campbell's dwarf hamster and a winter white dwarf hamster together would not be a good match. You've got to match them together. So winter whites would go with winter whites and Campbell's would go with, winter, with, would go, would go with Campbell's. So that's basically how that works. Um, so I personally have Striper alone. You can definitely have dwarf hamsters alone, guys. They do not have to be together. I know a lot of people think it's cuter if they're together and everything, but Striper is alone. He's perfectly happy and fine. It's not like guinea pigs where you have to have like an extra like friend for the guinea pig. Um, but this is how it is for the hamsters. So the dwarf hamsters can live either together or alone. Okay, guys. So my personal preference for if you're gonna house dwarf hamsters together would definitely be. So if you're going to house dwarf hamsters together, and you decide, okay. I want to have a, have two dwarf hamsters together. Um, you definitely want to make sure that your your cage is large enough. So what I mean by this is that it has to meet the four hundred fifty square minimum, uh, four hundred fifty square inches. That's the minimum for the cages. Um, if it doesn't, definitely, guys, do not get two pairs of dwarf hamsters and focus on getting a bigger cage for your one dwarf hamster that you have. Um, so what I definitely recommend, if you have enough room, is that if your cage is smaller but still meets the three hundred sixty square minimum. I recommend getting one to two dwarf hamsters, um, and if it is overly large, if it's really large, I recommend getting anywhere from one to three dwarf hamsters, because you really don't want a lot. I mean, honestly, it depends on you, but I personally do not think it's a good idea to have a lot, because if you think about it, they are going to have to have lots of bedding, and you definitely want to have a house, I'd say, for each one, a water ball for each dwarf hamster, and a wheel, of course, and plenty of chews, so you really have to think about, okay, is my cage large enough if I want to have one or more dwarf hamsters, and that's something that you really need to think about if you're going to have lots of dwarf hamsters. Okay guys, so basically to set up the dwarf hamsters, yes they can live in pairs, but you want to make sure that you have enough room for however many dwarf hamsters you want, and you want to make sure you have enough money to buy them the supplies that they need, and another thing that, yeah, so that's another thing that I wanted to mention guys is that, as I said before, hamsters, dwarf hamsters, especially happily live alone. Um, and as I said before, that's something that you have to think about too. If you don't have enough money or don't have enough space, do not stress it. Um, dwarf hamsters like Striper lives happily alone, and that is okay too. So that's basically what's on up dwarf hamsters. Now we're going to be talking about the Chinese hamster. So there's been lots of debate about whether Chinese hamsters are solitary or not solitary. And the reason why being is because at pet stores, Chinese hamsters are actually giving the name of a Chinese dwarf hamster. Now, this is really common because when people hear the name dwarf, they automatically think, okay, they can be together. So, this is actually what a Chinese hamster looks like. If you guys do not know, I don't know if it's focused, but that's what it looks like. So, I'm just going to hold this up so you guys can see what I'm talking here. But that's what a Chinese hamster looks like. So, basically, Chinese hamsters cannot live in pairs. Despite the name of the that they are given at the pet store, as Chinese hamsters are really not called Chinese dwarf hamsters, they are actually just called Chinese hamsters. That's their real name. So, despite the name that the stores give them, they cannot live in groups for multiple reasons. One being that they are just like Syrians, where um, they can definitely attack and like be really aggressive. Um, they definitely aren't as bad as Syrians, but you do not want to have these hamsters living together, obviously, in groups or pairs. They are better to be alone. Um, so that's just one thing that's really, really big. There are lots of debates saying that some people have had it in the past, have had like them being together, but I definitely don't recommend this as there's always like that one hamster that can be really good like and not like 
you know, like want to like eat another hamster. Sorry, that sounds really gross, but it's true. Um, and just definitely, guys, do not put Chinese hamsters together. It's about the name that they are given at the pet store. Just don't keep these together. That's my personal pre pre preference, and I definitely do not recommend that. So that's Chinese hamsters. Okay, guys. So we're going to also talk about Syrian hamsters. So Syrian hamsters, you guys, are the hamsters that usually people think about when they're about to get a hamster. So Buddy is actually a Syrian hamster, um, and Syrians definitely have got to be alone. And there are many reasons why they do. And so some of them are that Syrians are actually um, bred to be solitary. They are not meant to be alone. Uh, um, sorry, they're meant to be alone. They're not meant to be in groups or pairs. So like Buddy here, guys, Syrians have to be alone. I get this asked commonly, and that is the answer, guys. They cannot be together, or else cannibalism could happen. Um, if you guys do not, do not know what that means, that mostly just means like killing of other animals, which is not good at all, guys. So please, if you have a Syrian hamster, they're one of the species that has to be kept solitary, or else they will fight. Um, and Syrian hamsters are perfectly fine alone. Now, I wanted to clear this up. So usually in pet stores, um, especially like I pet on PetSmart around here, but in pet stores where I am, they will keep actual baby Syrian hamsters together. Now, you guys might think this is a good thing, but really guys, it is not a good thing at all. Um, Syrian hamsters, even when they are babies, they can be left together as they probably will not fight. But guys, just definitely don't keep hamsters together. And even if you're gonna buy one at a pet store, don't buy two because they think that they're babies and they won't like argue or anything. You have got to buy one if you are at a pet store or something like that because that's happened at pet stores. So please guys, please have Syrian solitary or else if they are not, they would definitely um, have cannibalism or bite or just get very injured. So you guys have got to keep them solitary. Okay guys, so I really hope that you all enjoyed today's video. It was so much fun to film and I really hope that you guys learned something new, maybe with the hamsters or whether they can live solitary or not. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel and if you do, you just get notified whenever I upload a new video. So that's kind of cool. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone! So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm currently on summer break which is so exciting. So many more videos to come. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm really excited about tomorrow's break. So yeah, have a great week, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.